I'm Karen Bond, the founder and creative director at House of Bond. I've been in the design industry for over 10 years. I decided to do a entire series around my own personal home renovation. Welcome to my home. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to episode five of Bonafide. This is a very exciting episode because one, I'm picking out my hardwood floors, and two, I've teamed up with Divine Flooring in their new showroom, which the House of Bond team recently designed. This opened just a couple of months ago. This is super exciting that I get to pick up my floors in a space that we've actually designed. And what I wanna do to start off is just show you guys this showroom and how it works. We wanted to design this so that it was like a gallery and we wanted to make it really simple and user friendly so that if you were coming in to pick your floors, whether you are a homeowner, a builder or a designer, it was really easy to do that. For example, if you are looking for floors, we've basically set this up so that you've got all this flooring displayed on the wall. You can come and you can see what colors are available, what textures, what options. And then if your eye is drawn to U03, for example, then the bottom of the displays are designed as drawers that just pop out and then you can see a bigger sample of the flooring that's on the wall. So this makes it super, super easy to actually see what all the flooring looks like because it's really hard when you're just looking at one little piece Sometimes you don't get a lot of the variation in the texture that's actually in the floor. And even better is that you can throw it on the ground. And if you just wanna stack a bunch of them side by side and imagine what it looks like on the ground, it makes it really easy to pick your floors. Each one of these walls open up. It's actually a cabinet. And then they do have smaller samples that you can take with you. So I love the showroom because it is so easy to navigate, it's so easy to find your floor, and we really wanted to make the flooring the star of the show. So I think we can check all of those boxes. And what I love about Divine, being a Canadian company, they have so much selection from all over the world, and really they, they've been so innovative with all of their products, which has made it so fun to work with them. This is hands down my favorite collection. I mean, I'm gonna be biased because we had designed this collection with Divine, but this is their own in-house collection. There's 17 colors in the collection that are on display here, going from super white to super black, which we called Vegas. So that was the fun part too, is we actually named every single one of the colors. The other thing that I really love about this collection that I just wanna say is I love all the different tones and variation in the wood. So they're not super, super clean. And I think that that just gives the floor so much character. You actually see the grain, you see the knots, there's a couple of different tones. It just adds so much more to your design um, in a really unique way. And you can't get that character on the walls, for example, unless you're putting wood up on the walls. This is a wire brushed wood with a matte finish. They've taken a brush over top of the wood planks so that the grain comes out a little bit more. And the fact that it's a matte finish and a hardwood and it's wire brush makes it incredibly durable. So if you've got pets or kids um, or anything like that, you're not gonna see the wear and tear and scratches as much as you would on like a really shiny, glossy, soft wood. I'll show you one of the woods that's got probably the most amount of character. Vacation. Like how cool is that? Yeah, you really see the grain and just the variation in the boards. I think that that's so special. It feels so much more custom and it feels a little bit more like expensive and high end, which I really like. And even if you do this in a small space, I think it just gives your space so much character. So old money, this has a really nice soft matte finish 
very sophisticated. It's a little bit warmer. We've actually used this in a number of projects too, so we should flash that to show you guys an example of what that looks like in a project. For my place, okay, so I'm gonna pull out a couple samples. I'm gonna pull out Icicle, which is the really, really white one. I need about 700 square feet of hardwood floor all over the main floor and on the stairs and then a little bit on the upper level. I'm adamant about doing a white floor and Chris is away right now, so he's missing the decision making. <laughs> I'm deciding today. So this one is called Rome. This is by far one of my favorite woods. It's interesting though, because seeing it up here, it looks quite warm. But this one, Rome is one of my favorite cities on earth. Okay, I'm gonna pull one more out. So this floor is called Zamboni. Uh, we named it that, you know, like a, a Zamboni in a hockey rink. <laughs> Cause it kind of looks like ice a little bit. Um, I actually really like this floor too. And when I see them side by side, okay, so this is the Puro Ice by Harrow. Well, you see the finish go right into the bevel and then into the next board. So it's a little bit more of an even finish. And I always want to stay away from that because it can tend to look a little bit like laminate. So if you're buying real wood, you want it to look like wood. You don't want it to look like laminate. Another reason why I like wood that has a lot of character in it. This one is the Zamboni from the Cosmopolitan Collection. This is Rome from the Cosmopolitan Collection. This has the saw cuts in it, so it looks a little bit more rustic and a little bit more barn board. This definitely looks like it's the warmest, the yellowest, hey? I can't believe it. I thought I was gonna come in here and for sure pick Rome from the Cosmopolitan Collection, but when I see all these side by side, I think that Rome is out. Really? I didn't think that this would happen. Yeah. <sighs> well, that's what I thought I wanted. I don't know, I might be changing my mind now. And then this is Icicle from the Cosmopolitan Collection. I like that you can see the bevel. So this has a little bit of a deeper bevel. And I also like the way that the wire brushing was done with the finish on the floor. So you can see the grain and the texture. I know, I like them all too. Oh my God. I need a designer. Someone call Hosevon quick. <laughs> So the flooring is almost one of those critical finishes to pick because it's so much easier to pick your floors and then build a scheme around that. It's a little bit harder to build a scheme and then pick your floors, especially when you're doing something like this where you're getting an engineered hardwood that's pre-finished. I prefer to go with an engineered hardwood and it's a super easy installation too. You just buy the wood and someone comes in and installs it. You don't have to do an installation and then a, a staining on site and then a finishing on site. So it's a lot more work to um, stain on site than it is to just go with an engineer product. Again, I feel like I'm checking a lot of boxes. I'm saving money by doing this. I'm getting a more interesting finish with character um, and it's an easier install. So yeah, I definitely wanna go with one of these. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of a comparison for you because I think that what typically we would consider a light floor, so something like number eight or number nine. So we call this one naked. And the reason this is naked is because this is just a beautiful oak finish. It's got a natural matte stain, not a lot no bells and whistles, just the real integrity of the floor really comes through. So you can see that my color palette is a lot lighter than a typical light floor. It's very light, very, very light. But actually now that I'm looking at this, like if this is your cabinet color, let's just say for example, and you've got a really warm cabinet color, this Rome actually looks really nice with it, it's very complimentary. Whereas because the Zamboni is a lot cooler, has a little bit more of like purple and blue undertones, I feel like this warm cabinet color doesn't look as complimentary. So now I'm going back to Rome. 
definitely need to look at the other finishes in my home. So I would like to look at the floor with my millwork samples, some paint colors, carpet sample, um, some countertops, some stone, and so that you can see the whole story because that's gonna really shift this one way or another too, which is what I think I'm gonna have to do next. So I will pull samples of these three and bring them back to the office with me. You don't get a payoff with these episodes. <laughs> you see the shopping experience, but not the payoff. Yeah, I guess it'll come in another episode. So I'm really excited to be here because Divine has branched out into carpet and tile. This is actually new for me. I haven't even looked at the carpet or tile that's here, but I'm excited to do that because I wanna see if there's some options for my place. Like I do have to say there isn't really anything sexy about carpet, like carpet is just kind of carpet, but the way this is displayed I think is pretty. It's pretty hot. <laughs> okay, so what am I looking for on carpet? I just want a very neutral carpet. I am not looking for something that's got a little bit of a shag where the hair of the carpet stands up. I am looking for a little bit more of a weave where you can actually see the loop and you've got a tight loop. The reason being, I just, I don't like stuff getting stuck in carpet and hair and we've got Oscar and I just like a nice plush but really tight weave carpet that feels good on your feet and that doesn't catch a lot of stuff. A nice loop. I don't know, this might come down to price, actually. Hi, Tony. <laughs> Can you um, tell me a little bit about price on some of these carpets? So there's three that I'm looking at. Um, All of these three here are quite premium. Okay. Do you go by square foot or square, square yards? Um, a square yard is fine. Okay, so you're going to be looking at around $60 a square yard. For 60 a square yard, okay. Yeah, the, What's going to be very cost effective? Uh, this one right here, $27, $28 okay. a square yard. Okay, that's good. I like that. So square yard, they price carpet in square yards for some reason, so you have to divide by nine Correct. in order to get your square foot. So 27 divided by nine. So you're like three dollars a square uh, a square Kay. foot. Yeah. See, I really like that one. This is going to be an excellent value. Okay. And then what's the next one? What's what can I get for like five dollars a square foot? These are going to be five six dollars a, a, a square foot. Five or six dollars a square foot. Okay. And what about this this one? It's got a nice loop to it. This one's going to be in the about six dollars a square foot. Range. Okay. And these ones you're going to be in the hundred dollar. Ah, what? I yard. pulled the two most expensive ones off the shelf. Yeah. yeah. Ten dollars a square foot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. There's this one that's like nice and bright and white. <laughs> Do I dare go for a carpet that's like really, really white? This is very similar to the carpet that I have right now, actually. It's soft and plush. Well, maybe I'll take a couple samples of this with me, same as wood. Um, do a little bit of pricing because we want to do a budget episode for you guys coming up soon. Before we leave here, I just want to go and check out what they've got for tile options. So this is a really great looking porcelain marble tile. So. It's obviously not real marble. <clears throat> well, I don't want to say obviously. I only say that because I said it was porcelain. <laughs> so this is actually something that I might consider doing um, just to help with the budget. Get that marble look, but save a lot of money on the tile. So if I look at this retail, $10 a square foot. So this is the 24 by 24 far format, which is pretty amazing because real marble is gonna be $40 a square foot, 50, 60, even $120 a square foot for real marble. So you're getting this for a fraction of the price. For carpet and tile, Divine really specializes in a builder grade product, which is perfect for what I wanna use for my townhouse. So something that looks really beautiful, um, that has a really good durable finish, but is really cost effective. And this is also really cool. This is almost a black 
marble, but also porcelain. So that could be a cool option too. Yeah. It looks like the real thing. Mm -hmm. They do such a good job with porcelain tiles these days that you really almost can't tell. Let's say that again. Even just like some of these simple tiles for a floor tile. We do have an image like this on the inspiration board. Okay. So maybe I'll take some samples of this too. See, I do want to do a mosaic in my powder room. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that they had these here. So this could be an option. It's almost, I find it really overwhelming to look at a whole bunch of different finishes at once though. Mm -hmm. I feel like I came here for hardwood flooring. Great. I still haven't decided. So I need to take it back with me and make a commitment to what kind of floor I want. And then I can start looking at the other finishes. I think that's it for today's episode. Overall, this has been a super successful trip. I am going to take all these samples back with me to the office. I don't know whether I'm going to pick Zamboni, Rome, or Icicle, but I'm really excited about these three options from the Cosmopolitan collection. I've got some great carpet samples that I'm going to take back with me. So very, very excited. Stay tuned because as I pick through all the samples and start putting the scheme together even more concretely. I'll obviously keep you guys all updated. Um, thank you everyone who's been watching and who's been commenting. I love hearing from you guys. Your comments literally are like my oxygen. I, it makes me so happy to hear from you. And for those of you guys who have been requesting more content, we are delivering. We're going to go to two videos a week as of November 1st and we're doing that for the month of November. We may do that for longer. So every Monday morning and Thursday afternoon, there's gonna be new content and lots more Bonafide. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that because coming up just for Bonafide, we've got a contractor walkthrough. We've got a shop at Cantu to pick out some faucets and plumbing fixtures. And we're also going to we're also going to do a budget episode. Very, very important. I need to give you guys an update. If you guys are ever in the Vancouver area, make sure you, and you're looking for hardwood, you have to come and check out Divine. They're located on Main Street. Um, I would love to have you and I would love your feedback. So if you ever stop by the showroom, please send me a DM and let me know that you did. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with your friends if you're watching this on YouTube or on Facebook. And until next time, Bye for now. But I'm very excited to go see some friends over at Divine Hardwood Flooring. Uh, their showroom just opened not too long ago and they're Vancouver Company. Yes,